Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so guys, we're making some sorrel drinks for you guys. Mommy, they are play a game well, no water well. <laughs> but yeah, mommy's going to tell you a bit about sorrel and stuff because I have no clue. Uh, um and yeah. Oh, so there was a reason why you left these out. Now I understand. Because I was wondering why those two were over there. So. You see? Yeah. It, it tint out already. Yeah. I wiped some of it away already. Mm -hmm. So these are our washed sorrel. Mm -hmm. This is the flower. Which is basically on the plant, there's a seed part in here and it get pulled up. Oh, okay. Okay, it's a bush. Mm -hmm. And um, when I, I was interested in finding out why sorrel is a Christmas drink. And, and I went in the internet and researched a bit. And the only reason I found is because sorrel is ready. <laughs> between November and December into January uh -huh. and therefore apparently it has become a Christmas drink for the Jamaicans and probably because it's red too and so <laughs> it basically comes from Africa as many many plants we have in Jamaica uh -huh. they are not indigenous to our country uh. like even breadfruit got imported uh -huh. some other stuff got in, in, uh, imported and this is one of them so you before you found them in africa and in india and now nowadays they have them in mexico uh -huh. but sometimes call them over there they call them jamaican flower okay so it looked like maybe it came to mexico then from jamaica yeah probably uh it has some health benefits uh -huh. It is uh, full of flavonoids, <laughs> which are uh, working against, um, oh, they are antioxidants, uh -huh. uh, which clean out your body from free radicals. Also, they had some research for cancer, and apparently it is working against some form of cancer. They didn't specify which forms. Uh -huh. It is high in vitamin A, C, and iron okay so all the health benefits of a for example to better your eyesight mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> c would be against the uh, cold flu and mm. especially cough they would they would use the the flowers and and uh, so the juice is a bit against cough as well mm -hmm. the leaves of the plant uh, can be put into a paste mm -hmm. against boils and abscesses mm -hmm. The vitamin, no, the iron, of course, is, is there to build up your red blood uh, 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 blood count and stuff like that. So apparently this little flower here is very, very healthy. Mm -hmm. Still not boiling. This is my biggest pot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so this is about uh, two pounds of sorrel flour. Mm -hmm. And they are... How much did that pay? We did. We should show it. Seven hundred something. Yeah, I think about eight hundred dollar yeah. for the two pound, which yeah. is not bad because. So well, they did charge between two hundred fifty a pound, uh, to it looks like five hundred a pound nowadays. Mm -hmm. Cause what was what was a guy trying to sell it for the other day? Uh, that was thousand dollar for a pound. No, yeah. No, it was yeah, it was thousand dollar for a pound. It was two thousand dollar for the pound. Yeah, so this would that have been crazy. two thousand dollar. Yeah, I mean, they were for eight hundred. Yeah. Know? So, and I think even the eight hundred were a bit a bit steep, but we had them and I saw them and they look good, so I didn't really mind. Yeah. So, seeing like this is a hibiscus plant, you can maybe see a bit. It it has a little similarity to a hibiscus. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Not much. Okay, With imagination. Them here they go in the water. <laughs> With a high um, imagination. Anyhow, that is a little history of, of health benefit. Oh, it's boiling. <laughs> it looks like. Yes, it is boiling. All we do now is throw them in. So we rinse them before, guys, you know. Um, and, um, I mean, Ooh, just you see them. everything is red already as you can see how quick and easy the color come out yeah so 
so at the end of this this water is gonna be red oh yes and the flowers are turning white oh not white but pink so i'm going to stir it a bit now i'm a person uh, generally they would put in sugar after mm -hmm. but i believe if you put in sugar now it will be a little bit more syrupy so i'm adding sugar from now i'm just using using my judgment, judgment. <laughs> yeah. okay. well i will taste it still because the the sorrow flower itself is a little bit tangy you know it's not it's not really sweet in any way oh definitely needs more but that was mixed yeah. a lot yeah, but it's hot water, and you must do that dissolve fast in hot water. Put it. Yep. That's it. Um, what I'm going to do now is probably cook it for another one, like two to three minutes. And then we go turn it off. Mm -hmm. And it will sit for at least six to eight hours after. Okay. So basically, after this boils up for another two to three minutes, and I turn it off, we are not going to touch it until tonight because we have morning now. Yeah. So it's just going to soak through basically. It will. Until... Yeah. But I just want to it to boil up a bit again, which soon happen. <coughs> and then we're going also put some rum in ours <laughs> well yeah i mean that's tradition yeah. as well put in white rum mm -hmm. first of all it will oh but you know what i forgot the ginger yeah i have to put in some ginger hmm that's a peanut really i forgot the ginger i forgot the ginger and you there was something <laughs> it's full of kind of because as you know, ginger is so uneven, it's hard to cut. So we just scrape it off with a spoon. Oh, this one is fresh, juicy. Mm -hmm. take off everything because it's just boiling and put it in smaller parts you can grate it as well if you want but i prefer it this way so i can fish out the pieces later <coughs> come on let's just have it there you go Right here, so where's the spoon? Huh? What do I do with the oh. Okay. Ah, see it's starting to boil now. And you can see how how dark the the water is already. Okay. Yeah. Uh, red already after this short time. But now to get the most out of it, of course we let it steep. So this is boiling up. So yeah guys, so we're going to let this boil up for 2-3 to three minutes and then turn it off and let it sit for like 6-8 to eight hours. So later on when we get back home, because it's early in the morning right now, um, we will finish up this video. So see you later on. Bye! Okay guys, um, we are back. And going to finish our sorrel juice. Yeah, yeah. This has been steeping for a long time because normally I was supposed to do it last oh. night and then I was tired of so I Yes, keep it. Oh. So, what I'm going to do now, oh. see the flowers here? I'm going to kind of squeeze them out. Oh. And then, don't no worry, I like to work with my hands, I like to feel things. And so I'm going to squeeze them out. And they have lost a lot of their color. If you want to see, they are pretty pale now. 
in oh. uh, yesterday we showed you the original some lime juice and I always do it like this through my hand to catch the seeds I don't have a press <laughs> much of the sorrel paste okay here we go and then last but not least Ta -da! that's our good Jamaican overproof rum Uncle Ray and nephew from Ray and nephew and it has 63% uh, it actually used to have 75% but they cut it down to 63 I'm not going to put the whole queue in, it's a little over half. If you, if you drink it later, you can add to it. But this will help to preserve it. Well, it's early in the morning and I'm drinking white rum. <laughs> now, um, we are going to turn this into bottles. I have my bottles here. So even if, if, if you have this, you know, and it's lacking some taste or so, you can still add to it later. Can you see the fabulous color we've got? There are all these fl fl flavonoids, <laughs> flavonoids or whatever, which are good against the free radicals and give it a color as well so i guess we'll get a lot of healthy stuff coming out of here bottle number one still so much left guys yep i might need more bottles i'll just carry away my bottles yesterday <laughs> not too much so I guess you can keep it in the fridge and see if it has in India and the white rum now. Um, it will be preserved for a while. And it will get more taste while uh, standing. 
So you can drink it fresh like this, of course, but it will be even nicer if it is standing for a few days. So that was our sorrow making video. So I hope you enjoyed it and, and maybe you can try yourself. I heard that in America you can even get sorrel dried to do things. I have never done the juice with dried sorrel. Can't tell you. It should be the same system. Uh, around this time of the year in Florida or, the, or other places you might even get fresh sorrel. So try this. It is a real delicious drink. So see you next time. Bye. Bye.